What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Season. So let's get into some of these announcements, right? So um, this weekend, they had the uh, Japan Hobby Show. Um, it was actually only for like two or three days, I think. It was only from the 30th of September through the 1st. Um, but they did make some interesting announcements, right? So the first one we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about um, the Narrative Gundam. And this is very interesting because I don't think anybody would have picked this to be the next Master Grade. Um, and it's a Verka, no doubt. And that is very, very interesting. So, of course, it looks kind of like, it's kind of like a mix between the Unicorn and the New. Um, so you've got the Psycho Frames here in the inner skeleton there. And it does look really, really good. Let's go through some of this, these shots that they got. It looks awesome. And right now, um, they have this as a tentative release date of December of this year. And that's pretty interesting, right? So um, you've got that first one. Um, there is no price as far as I've seen. I have not seen any kind of price uh, yet. So uh, that's what you've got for the Narrative Gundam. Uh, so you've got that. The next one we've actually got is the Master Grade. EX Midnight Coding version of the Strike Freedom Gundam. Now, uh, to my knowledge, this is actually like a China exclusive. And it's <laughs> it's pretty much coded in all black. And this is the inner frame here. And what you've got, it almost looks like you've got some chrome in here as well. So, because this is the runner here. And yeah, it looks like you've got chrome up here in this corner here. And then, yeah, you've got chrome coating there. So this one actually looks interesting. And as a China exclusive, um, for anybody that lives outside of China, good luck trying to get it because it's going to be, <laughs> you're probably going to have to pay an arm and a leg. And right now they have a release date uh, that I saw of May of 2024. So uh, you've still got some time to try to hunt this down somehow. Uh, what I've seen is a price is a 4,200 yuan, Chinese yuan. So uh, when I put that in the conversion, it was like $576. So I don't know if that's accurate or not, but this one definitely is going to be, probably is gonna be a little bit on the expensive side. So you've got that. Now you've also got and this was actually shown at the uh, hobby show is we got a one by uh, 144 of the destroy Gundam. And this is actually from Gundam Seed Destiny. And right now what I've seen as a release date is in March of next year. And I saw the price at 14,300 yen. And that's about 95 US. So uh, for people who like the destroy Gundam. Now for me personally, it's not necessarily my favorite, even though it's a high grade, maybe I've just been spoiled by like a lot of the real grades and stuff like that. I'm just used to there being way more detail than this. This actually looks quite plain, but it still looks good. No doubt. I guess if you were uh, going to do some scratch building or some modifications, you probably could get quite a bit of use out of this one. Because uh, it, it looks like it could definitely deal with some like panel lining and maybe it's like some decals and stuff like that. So that's what you've got for that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be it's going to be relatively on the big side. It's not the biggest one that I've seen, but, you know, and I, apparently it's going to be coming with these beam sabers and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it also does have articulated hands, you know, so that should be interesting as well. So that's what we got for that. Now we're actually going to get into some other things that they uh, announced. So next we actually have the, uh, this actually was announced probably, I want to say like a week and a half ago or so, but uh, what we've got is a uh, release date for the metal build uh, camphor. And this is from, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Gundam 0080. So it was at uh, War in the Pocket, I think. So they actually had a release date for that. Now, uh, with this one, they actually have a price of 39,600 yen, which is about $265.10. Now, this one actually is supposed to be released in February. So, you know, you have the Providence coming out in 
January. You have this one coming out in February. So uh, if you're a metal bill collector, I guess you better get your wallets ready. For me personally, I'm not really a big fan of the camphor. So uh, this is going to be a skip for me, but we should be seeing uh, this relatively soon. And pre-orders are supposed to start on the second, I think the second or the third of uh, October. So I have not seen anything up on the P Bandai site in the US. So I have no idea about that, but you know, it does look solid. So for those uh, UC fans out there, you've got that one to look forward to. And let's see what we've got up here next. So next up we've got, let's see. Ah, we've got the YF21 uh, from Macross Plus. So this is actually a Bandai model kit. And actually, it looks pretty solid. I've seen a release date for this one of January, in January of 2024. And I saw the price of 4,730 yen, which is about $31. So actually, this one will not be uh, very expensive at all. It does look like it's going to be transformable. So you've got that there. So you've got the front and the back there. Uh, so it looks really solid here. And you've got it in Gerwalk mode as well so i'm not sure if we're going to get this in the states uh, i have no idea i know like macross in the united states has been caught in like <sighs> without me getting into it because it's like a pet peeve of mine it's harmony gold's fault but i think they did work out a deal to where all the other series will eventually uh, start getting releases and stuff like that in the united states except for the original macross which is unfortunate since that's my favorite one but that's whew, that's a long story boy <laughs> but uh yeah so you've got all of those and then it also does have some what we've got here let's take a look here so um it's actually going to have uh some water slide decals uh to my knowledge this does not come in uh the box this is actually something you have to buy separately but i think it's only like five dollars so that's not too bad but i like water slides i wish actually bandai would actually start making uh, dry transfer decals again those were actually really really good they're a little bit cumbersome to put on but I kind of like them better, but this is probably the next best thing, especially compared to stickers and stuff like that. So that's what you've got, what it looks like with all of the uh, markings and stuff. So it looks pretty good. So that should be interesting. So yeah, we don't have to wait too long for that if you are going to get that. So, and then also what we saw, uh, this was not at the hobby show, but this was uh, one of the other announcements, I think in one of the hobby magazines. Uh, but we are starting to see the prototype for the DX version of the YF21. Now, they actually showed this at some hobby shows fully painted and everything. They've showed that for about a year, a year or two, and then we didn't hear anything. But of course, you know, COVID and all that kind of stuff. So, but you know, it's looking pretty good. So it'll be good to match it with the VF19. So, you know, that should be actually pretty uh, interesting to have both of those together. My guess as far as the price and stuff is probably going to be uh, between probably 250 and 300 would be my guess it's based off of the uh, VF-19. So we've got the, uh, the VF-19. Uh, this is the Fire Valkyrie. So this is uh, from Macross 7. So it looks like they are working on that. From my knowledge, I think they said there's supposed to be a 1 by uh, 72 scale. Should be actually relatively uh, on the big side. So uh, we'll see. I don't know if there is a tentative date. I haven't seen a tentative date on this one yet so yeah it looks yeah it's to be announced so but it looks like they that is in the prototype phase so uh, but it looks like it's going to be pretty good and i imagine it'll probably transform as well so you have that so next we have the release information for the model version of the kumi kinzen a uh, genetic gal guy gar i guess they're calling it uh, amakuni tech so that's interesting, right? So right now they've got a tentative release date of May of 2024 and the pre-orders actually start on the 2nd of October. It actually does look pretty good. I actually have the uh, figure version of this, so I actually don't need this one. But if you want one that's a little bit cheaper, what I've seen as far as the price is about a 14,000 850 yen and that's about uh, 99 dollars so actually this is a lot cheaper than the actual figure so yeah so it looks like i'm thinking i'm guessing that this is actually the release date here of uh 524 at 14 
850. So yeah, that's what you've got there. So, and then also this one is actually going to have a uh, water slides. It looks like now, I don't know how you're going to get these or if this comes in the box or not, I'm not sure you've got that. So, and then of course, this is what it looks like with uh, the decals on. So, you know, that's interesting. And that's one thing that the, uh, that the figure or version didn't actually have. So now they also did, we did see some other brave stuff. So what they had was on the, uh, the Cotabakia booth, they actually were showing uh, great bond gone. So they're still showing the prototypes for that. I've actually talked about that in other videos. I would have thought we would have seen, especially for this uh, great to Garn GX. I thought that we would, we should be seeing a, a color prototype of this by now. I don't understand <laughs> why this one has not been released yet. So, cause I already did the review, uh, for the, uh, Kota Bikia Degarn X. So I'm still in the prototype phase. At least maybe it's just not ready to be shown. I don't know. So that's interesting there, but yeah, so, uh, that's what we had. So we also had some brave announcements as well. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Um, that was not everything that they showed at that show. And that's not all the announcements that have come out, but those, these were the, the main ones that I saw. Uh, that I thought that maybe some of you guys would want to see and you know, we'll we'll see what happens uh, in the future I just wanted to show you guys what they actually had at these hobby shows and some of the announcements that have happened within the last week or two so uh, That's all I've got for you today. That's I think that's quite a bit <laughs> But uh, anyways, well, thank you guys for watching the video and I will catch you in the next one peace